Hello, so I'm here today to do kind of a haul video and another first impression. So I randomly went to Target yesterday. I wasn't even going there for any makeup, any beauty products, and I just got sucked in by the lights and the beautiful shimmering packaging and the beautiful products. So I ended up buying stuff that um, I probably don't need, but I had a gift card that I've just been having in my wallet for a while. and I didn't want to use it for groceries or anything practical. I was saving it for something fun. So what's more fun than makeup? I already have enough clothes. I have enough makeup too for that point, but I thought this would be fun. So I picked up some really great products, so I want to show you guys some of these. So I'm going to get started here. So the first product that I purchased that I am so excited about is this Pacifica um, Natural Beauty Dream Big Lash Extending 7-in-1 Mascara. So, you know, there's always a lot of brands that are like 7-in-1, 10-in-1, 15-in-1, 20-in-1, and you're like, yeah, right. This one, I think it's legit. Like, um, it says the 7-in-1 properties that it says is growth serum, instant length, lash lifting, volumizing, conditioning, rich color, which I don't think is like a super, like, I think it should just be kind of a 6-in-1, and then a 2-in-1 brush, and I will show you guys that. Um, so overall, I used this today. I think that it did a really good job of lengthening my lashes and volumizing, too, with the second brush. I do think that the curl on, like, my lashes didn't stay lifted all day for like over 12 hours but they still look good just not as good as this morning um, but I guess what do you expect so the first things first this packaging is to die for it has unicorns on it and it has gold metallic on it it's beautiful it's a beautiful packaging um, it's not a cheap mascara it's $15.99 which I think for a Target brand mascara is pretty pricey. But I've been really wanting to use more natural products on my eyes. Um, just because when you put mascara on, just think about how close it is to your, just your eye. And just think of how important your eyes are. So I think the better the products you can put that close to your eyes, the better. So another mascara that I've been using is the Josie Marin Argon Black um, black oil mascara and it kind of reminded me a little bit of that it had a similar kind of property to it where it wasn't this thick chunky mascara that goes on and just gives you like super huge lashes it gives you really well-defined natural looking lashes that still look pretty good so with the wand when you pull it out so it has that two-in-one property so if you see there's this really big wand so when you twist the cap the wand shrinks. And now it's this teeny tiny little wand. Still pretty big. It's like the size of like a CoverGirl wand. But now when you shrink it in, it's better for giving your lashes vo uh, volume. Where when you put it out this way, it's better for giving your lashes length. So I think it's pretty cool. I used it today and it was super easy to use. The wand like goes in and out super easily. And I think it's kind of nice for like when you get more, want to get more product. Instead of like shaking or like ringing it around, you can just kind of bring it back and forth and have the wand go in and out of the tube so that's kind of cool but I think this is a really good mascara it is a little pricey if you want to try it but it's kind of out of your price range maybe wait for a sale it is Target uh, if you have your red card you can get five percent off so they have coupons all the time for beauty products like they'll have some where it's like 15 percent off beauty or buy one get one half off so just wait for it um I mean I recommend it if you are willing to pay that much for a mascara do it so the next product I'm going to talk about is um, a contouring kit, which is not like the Maybelline or the uh, L'Oreal um, contouring kit. It is a natural one. So the brand is Boots Botanics. And so I've noticed Boots is starting to get more into makeup products. I know for the longest time they were more lotions and skincare. And now they're coming, starting to come out with makeup and it looks really nice. So he did it in this really pretty mirrored case with some greenery on it and so when you open it up you get this giant mirror over here then you get this big pan of a contour shade and a highlight shade and these shades are really beautiful I've had some issues in the past with um, contouring palette just kind of blending it in and just feeling like I looked dirty like I, whenever you put a brown powder in your face I guess you have to worry about looking dirty but um, I just think that this was really a really natural contour which I feel like doesn't make sense because how is contouring natural but it just really makes it look like it's your skin and you're just a little more like 
uh, slenderized and I think it was a really great powder. The highlight was also pretty good. I definitely um, would also use like a more shimmery highlight like one of my um, like either my MAC Soft and Gentle or like an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. It's just a very subtle highlight. It's not like a boom boom. So I definitely recommend um, this for a contour and a light highlight. Um, you can always just a stack on top of it too. Um, but this was $11.99, which I feel like for a contouring palette is really good. You don't get a ton of shades, like you don't get the six that you get in Anastasia or the six that you get in like the Kat Von D, but you get a really good contour and a really good highlight and you get a big chunk of it. So I'm just going to compare the ounces. So in this one you get 14 grams. We're in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. You get, you get about, so it's about half of the Kat Von D Palette is what you get in here. So I think that's a pretty good um, value because if you think about it with some of the, those other palettes you get, you get so many shades that aren't right for you. Um, so if this is your shade, I believe this only comes in one shade, um, that this I think will work really well and kind of be a good replacement for that. So the next product, as you can tell, I'm super excited about all of these products. The next product is number seven and it's called brand product and it's called Radiant Glow Under Eye Concealer. And I think the thing that I was most excited about when I saw this was it's in the Touche Clat by, um, YSL, that same kind of clicker. And I always wanted to try the YSL Touche Clat, but I just can't ever justify that price, like, ever. Like, I don't think, I can't pay that much for an illuminator or a concealer. I just can't. There's perfectly good ones you can buy at the drugstore for a good price. So, I was really excited to see this. And this was, you know, the sticker by the sign was definitely a lot cheaper than what I'm seeing on my receipt right now. I definitely thought this was like $9.99, which is still a lot, but... I guess I paid $13.99. That being said, it's really good. It's really good. And I think it's really cool that it comes in this kind of clicker. So you have this um, little built-in brush. And how you get the product out is you just push this in and it just clicks. So exactly like the YSL one. Um, it's just a really pretty packaging, very slick. I think this would be really good for travel or maybe in your makeup bag because it has that little applicator on it already. You'll just want to make sure that you clean it. Um, in the packaging, it does recommend that you wipe off all the extra goop that you're not using and just like literally you can take like a Kleenex and just wipe it off and it's supposed to be good. Um, but the formula was really good. It um, lasted really well, blended really easily. It was creamy. I wouldn't say it's super full coverage, I'd say it's probably medium coverage, but it did have some kind of like highlight properties to it, kind of like the Touche Clat. So the Radiant Glow Concealer is definitely really good. You get 0.08 um, US ounces, which I think is s small. I think it's small for some. So you get in my Come Correct by Wet n Wild Concealer, which I actually really love, um, you get 0.34 fluid ounces. So quite a bit less, but I don't think you need as much in this and you are paying for this really nice um, container and packaging, like cost extra money to like get this to function. So pretty packaging costs money. I completely understand that in my line of work. So a couple of our products I want to talk about is I purchased a foundation from number seven that kind of went with the concealer and I purchased the airbrush away foundation. And it's for all skin types and it's medium coverage. And again, this is both of all these brands are kind of more natural products. Like they're not super natural, super natural. Um, but there are just some better things in it. Like there's, um, you can just like when you look at the ingredients, you see some more natural like plant extracts and things. So it comes in this container that looks exactly like the, um, why am I blanking on names today? It comes in the same kind of container as um, cover cover effects. So you get the dropper. So when you twist it and you take it out, you get kind of that similar um, uh, dropper. It's a little bit different looking of a dropper, as you can tell. It's 
kind of got a divot in it. And so the nice thing about this is you get one full fluid ounce. One thing I've been noticing with the foundations that are a little bit more of a concentrate, you get about three-fourths of an ounce. Um, this was really expensive. It was $17.99. I do get 5% off because I have a red card. So I ended up saving like $2 on my total purchase of all of the stuff. Um, but overall, the jury is still out on this one. I don't know if I love it. I think I, I always use more of a full coverage foundation. So the medium just wasn't really enough for me. Um, but if you have really great skin and you wear light to medium, this is a really great foundation. Um, I bought it in the lightest shade called Cool Vanilla. And I think it's a good foundation. I'll definitely keep it and keep using it. Um, this one actually might be a little bit dark for me too. Um, and it's the lightest one. But that is definitely a good foundation. Now a couple of things that I haven't really tried yet um, that I purchased. I purchased some argan oil. And so this is one fluid ounce of argan oil. I haven't actually opened it up yet. And it looks like it comes in a little glass container with a pump on it. Which I think is really nice. That way um, you don't have to like use a dropper. And it's 100% pure um, argan oil. So to me, I'm thinking this could almost replace like a Josie Marin argan oil. So I'm going to test it out and kind of see. I really like to use argan oil on my hair. Um, I like to sometimes use it as a moisturizer. If I'm getting like dry patches on my face, I'll add a little bit of this and it'll just kind of make everything better. So this was um, $13.49. So compared to the Josie Marin, which is like $40 to $50, um, and this is the same size, um, hopefully this is a good kind of a dupe for that. So the last thing that I purchased that is an absolute necessity is cotton balls. And I purchased jumbo ones because I accidentally purchased tiny ones, um, or regular cotton balls. And you can't use those. Like, let's just compare. That's a bad one. Most of them are like these teeny tiny little pillow. And it's like, what am I going to, like... What am I going to do with this? Like, I need like these jumbo ones for like um, under eye makeup and such. But that was my haul. Um, I'm really happy with all of these products. I definitely am going to start kind of looking at the natural makeup and just healthier products and healthier ingredients. I definitely think that um, you can still get that same kind of look that you um, pay my like to money to buy like Marc Jacobs and other nice products, I think you can still achieve that same look with these products. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching my channel, this is your first time. If you've seen my videos before, um, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of videos. Um, I really enjoy this. I have a full-time job that I do during the day, but this is just something that it's kind of a passion project for me. And I love beauty. I love makeup. I love fashion. And I love being able to share it and kind of get people's feedback too. Like I love it when there's comments and likes and just really, um, really kind of grateful for the opportunity to have an outlet where I can share my passion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, if you have any questions about any of these products, I'm going to keep using them all week. So let me know. Um, again, hope you enjoyed. Bye.